Hey First Tech Challenge teams, my name is Thomas Ang, and I'm an engineer with the First Tech Challenge here at First Headquarters. Today I'll be sharing with you what recommended programming tools are available for teams to use, and what resources there are to help support you on your tech journey. We'll go through each tool one by one and discuss why your team might want to choose a particular programming tool. Let's talk about why you need a programming tool. During a typical First Tech Challenge match, a team's robot must perform a variety of tasks to score points. For example, a team might want their robot to follow a white line on the competition floor and then score a game element into a goal. Teams write computer programs called op modes, which stands for operational modes, to specify the behavior of their robot. In order to write an op mode, you will need a programming tool. Now let's talk about the recommended programming tools available for the First Tech Challenge. The Blocks programming tool is a visual design tool that lets programmers use a web browser to create, edit, and save their op modes. Users drag and drop jigsaw-shaped programming blocks onto a design canvas and arrange these blocks to create the program logic for their op mode. With the Blocks programming tool, a user does not have to have a laptop to create and edit op modes. Instead, a programmer can use a device such as a Google Chromebook, an Android tablet, or an Apple iPad to create and edit op modes. The Blocks programming tool is the fastest way to get started programming op modes for your competition robot. If you're a novice programmer, or if you're a user who prefers to design their op modes using a drag and drop visual interface, then the Blocks programming tool is the tool for you. Here are some resources to help you get started with the Blocks programming tool. Blocks programming online tutorial. Blocks programming tutorial playlist on YouTube. And if you have questions about using the Blocks programming tool, there's a Blocks programming subform of the First Tech Challenge online forum. Now let's talk about the OnBot Java programming tool. The OnBot Java programming tool is a text-based tool that lets programmers use a web browser to create, edit, and save their Java op modes. Unlike the Blocks programming tool, OnBot Java uses Java syntax instead of drag and drop programming blocks um, to create op modes. OnBot Java is a text-based tool and it requires that users have a solid understanding of the Java programming language. With the OnBot Java programming tool, uh, just like the um, Blocks programming tool, a user does not need to have a laptop to create and edit op modes. Instead, a user can use a device such as a Google Chromebook, an Android tablet, or an Apple iPod to create, edit, and build their op modes. If you're a programmer with basic to advanced Java skills and you would like to write text-based op modes, then the OnBot Java programming tool is a good choice for you. Here are some resources to help you get started with the OnBot Java programming tool. OnBot Java programming online tutorial. Java programming subform, which includes both the OnBot Java and Android Studio topics of the First Tech Challenge online forum. Our third recommended tool is Android Studio. Android Studio is an advanced integrated development environment for creating Android apps. This tool is the same tool that professional Android app developers use. Android and Studio includes some powerful development and debugging tools that are not available with the blocks for OnBot Java tools. Android Studio can be very difficult, however, to install, configure, and to use. Also, Android Studio requires a dedicated laptop or computer workstation to create, edit, and build op modes. Unlike the Blocks programming and OnBot Java tools, Android Studio will not run on a Google Chromebook, it will not run on an Android tablet, and it will not run on an Apple iPad. Android Studio is only recommended for advanced users who have extensive Java programming experience. Here are some resources to help you get started with the Android Studio programming tool. Android Studio Online Tutorial. Android Studio Programming Tutorial Playlist on YouTube. Java Programming Subforum, which includes both the OnBot Java and Android Studio topics of the First Tech Challenge online forum. In summary, there are three great programming tools available for you to use in the First Tech Challenge. Regardless of what tool you select, always remember that you have the support of First and the First Tech Challenge community to help you be become successful. Regardless of your, whether you're a rookie team or a veteran team, be sure to check out the technology forums if you have a question, concern, or even an answer. 
Another great resource to consult if you do have questions are teams local to you. Never hesitate to reach out to local teams to see who is available to help. And finally, keep on top of the First Tech Challenge team email blasts. First sends the most up-to-date news and information in these team email blasts. Thanks for watching and have a great season.